So thank you for the invitation. So I'm going to talk about a uh, joint work with uh, with uh, Yongbin Ruan. Uh, Yongbin Ruan. Uh, now he's back to China. Before he was in uh, in Michigan uh, University, and then uh, his former student uh, Wen Yao Xiong Yao Xiong Wen. So, so we would like to propose uh, propose some uh, mirror symmetry for special neutron orbits. So, what's the motivation to propose uh, make this make this proposal? Uh, so, let me start with this motivation. Uh, in fact, for uh, yeah, let me start with the Lagrange dual. So, for any uh, reductive group G, so we can always construct a Lagrange dual dual group. So there's a combinatorial uh, procedure, yeah, to construct this dual. Uh, so, so for example, uh, the Nagrand's dual of SLN uh, is the PSLN. So you just keep in mind uh, such example, uh, that will be enough for for my talk. And then in general, uh, if you take a symmetric connected Lie group, then it's Nagrand's dual uh, is just the adjoint group. So a joint group is just a, a simply a simply connected group quotient by the center. And so in particular, for example, SLN, then you quotient by the center, you get a PSLN. Uh, with one exception uh, is, is this one. This is a really exception type. So type B, type C and uh, corresponds to type B. So SP2N, uh, this is simply connected. Uh, it's like the Nang's dual is SO. Uh, two one plus one. Uh, this is a, a joint group. So this is type CN uh, is dual uh, to type BN. Uh, for other groups, the type will, will, will remain the same, but except uh, for this type B and type C. So this will be our main focus for these uh, two types. So the motivation uh, comes from the Hitchin uh, uh, fabrication. So if we fix, uh, say, a smooth projective curve, so, so say it's just a smooth projective curve, and then you, you can consider uh, all the, the, the G principle uh, Higgs bundles over C. Uh, this this uh, can give you a modular space. Uh, so I will not explain uh, this modular space. Uh, so so you, you can think of uh, it's just a, a normal modular space. Uh, uh, sometimes it's a singular, uh, but you, you can you can you can, you will say uh, it's not not so so badly singular, <laughs> and, and for this model space we have this hitching hitching map this edge, uh, from from this this edge uh, from this model space to some affine affine variety, and uh, and uh, this 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 uh, has a very really nice uh, property uh, such that this is a, a integral system uh, with fibers are Lagrangian uh, sub variety. So on this MT, uh, it has a symmetric form, and uh, and then the fibers are Lagrangian with respect to this uh, this symmetric form. So this this has a really a very nice picture uh, for this. And then the question you may ask, uh, what will change if you change G uh, to G dual, uh, G Lagrange dual? So in particular, uh, you would like to ask uh, MG. Uh, Nagrand's dual and, uh, and the MT, what's the relation between this one? And this has been studied by Hozo and Serdes in two, two, 2003. In fact, they, 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 they observed that uh, you have this, uh, this uh, two fabrication. Uh, this one is for SLN, and the dual part is PSLN, it's Nagrand's dual. And then they found the, the base, uh, the two, uh, two base of fabrication are, the, are isomorphic. And then moreover, uh, the, the fibers are Lagrange dual, the fibers are dual fabrication. Because, uh, yeah, I forgot to say, uh, uh, these fibers are torus. Uh, the fibers are infinitely, uh, just, so this is fibers are, uh, are Arpinian variety. Genetic fibers are arbenium variety. And then on this side, you have arbenium variety uh, as a fiber A over just one point. And then on, on the dual side, you have uh, uh, you have the dual arbenium variety over the same point. 
So you have this dual fibrillation between these two uh, heating fibrillations. And it, this gives you a nice picture uh, uh, between this like lungs uh, dual and the heating fibrillation. And also, uh, I need to point out uh, for this MSN, SNN, uh, this, this motor space is smooth. So it's really nice. You can do everything you want. But on the, on the Nakhlan's dual part, uh, M, a PSN part, uh, this has, singular, uh, has singularity, but the singularities are not too bad. Uh, they have only quotient singularity. So it's still uh, singular, but, uh, but still uh, uh, we can do many things. And then uh, with this uh, theorem uh, in head, then, then it's natural to try to generalize uh, to a uh, general group T. And then this has been done by Donaghi and uh, Pontiff in 2012. So they extended uh, this picture for all uh, G, as uh, reductive G, and it's a like Nagnas dual, G dual. So the picture is the same. And then uh, in the same paper as the wholesale centers, and then they are trying to compute, uh, compare the two model spacing. And then they propose this topological mirror, con mirror symmetry conjecture. Uh, which says uh, then this model space uh, and this model space. So it's uh, related to two Lagrange like dual uh, groups. A major pattern, uh, uh, which is, uh, in a sense, that they have the same uh, stringent E polynomials. So I should point out that uh, in this case, uh, this is smooth. And this is, uh, uh, this, this has, uh, has a quotient singularity. So you may wonder uh, why is it only formulated for SLN and PGA1, not for general group G? Because in general, if, uh, if you take a general group MG, then this could be very singular. Uh, it's so singular that we cannot define this stringent E polynomial. So to define this stringent E polynomial, we need uh, some, some conditions on the singularity. And this is why only, <laughs> Hmm? Uh, question? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is why they, they only stated uh, this conjugate for type A. And then uh, this has been uh, proved uh, in 2020 uh, by these three people uh, via P article uh, integration. And then uh, one year later, Monica and Sun, uh, they give a, a new proof uh, using a uh, Using uh, decomposition theorem. So, so let me uh, try to give you a hint of what this means, stringent E polynomial. So, to, so def to define this stringent E polynomial, uh, so we need to start with. Oh, sorry. Uh, Maybe I may ask you a question. Uh, what was proved yeah. in these two papers you mentioned? Mm hmm. Uh, these two papers, uh, they proved precisely what result? Uh, this conjecture. So th these two model spaces have, have the same stringent E polynomial. Uh -huh. So this is a definition of mirror partners. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, so, so I should say they are mirror partners in the following sense. Mm -hmm. So in a sense that they have the same stringent E polynomial. Uh-huh, okay, I see, thank you. Mm, okay. And so, so let me uh, recall uh, what's, a, what's a stringent E-functional. In general, we call E-functional. It's not necessarily polynomial. But in, in the two cases, uh, uh, this has a quotient singularity, so it turns out to be a polynomial. But in general, it's just a functional. So to define this one, we start with some uh, Q Goldstein uh, singularity, uh, uh, a normal variety, Y, with Q Goldstein singularity and uh, with KOT singularity. So Q Goldstein means uh, uh, this KY, uh, means this KY. Uh, KY uh, is, is a Q quantity. So there exists some, some positive uh, natural uh, integer. Uh, M K Y, uh, M, M times K Y uh, is cut in. So it, it, this defines a line bound on Y. And K O T singularity, uh, this means uh, you take any resolution. So let's take any resolution. 
pi, and then uh, you can write uh, ky. Uh, it's a pull bank of k, k uh, KYT and is pull bank of KY plus something AI and EI. Uh, EI are exceptional dividers, and, uh, and uh, KOT means AI is at least uh, manageable. So we will say why we need this condition. So once you have this one, you can take many resolutions, but there are some a nice resolution called the local resolution. So local resolution means uh, the exceptional dividers uh, are, are, are very nice. Uh, meaning they are simple normal crossing. So meaning they are intersecting uh, like this, uh, intersecting like this, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like just the coordinate uh, uh, plans. And importantly, each component are smooth and also any intersection of these dividers are smooth. And for, for any, uh, any index J uh, in this subset, uh, one to K, one to K is just the K is just a number of reducible components. And then we define a smooth sub right here, uh, DJ zero is just the intersection of all these, uh, these DJ and minus uh, those dividers which are not uh, in this uh, index J. And then this gives a smooth, uh, but in general it's not closed. So it's, it's an open, open sub right. Uh, yeah, it's open in this DJ. So, uh, and 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 uh, as it's smooth, so we can define some uh, e polynomial uh, associated to this whole the linear numbers. Um, so, uh, so this is should be, x should be DJ DJ zero. So this this is just a standard way uh, to define uh, 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 all all uh, all polynomial. Just the sum the sum up uh, the the whole journey numbers. So you, if you do not like this, so you may just uh, think of whole numbers. Uh, Presenting uh, this to be to be compact, but in general it's not compact. So we need to we need to uh, take the uh, compact support and then this kind of this uh, whole journey uh, number. And then uh, this is a strange e functional. This one. This is strange, uh, strange uh, e functional. Uh, so this is this is this is you sum up all these uh, these uh, subset J with this uh, this polynomial. But then we understand this this uh, this is something strange. Uh, this is some correction uh, coming from this uh, this A J. AJ is, is this one, is this, uh, this uh, called, uh, uh, this, uh, this AJ is called uh, discrepancy, uh, is, is here. So AJ is called a uh, discrepancy. So it comes come from the, uh, the resolution. So KOT, uh, meaning this AJ is at least the minus one. Because if AJ is equal to minus one, then this has no, has no sense. So this is why from from beginning we need to require uh, it has a KOT singularity. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, so this is a definition of this stringent E functional. And, uh, and it has some nice properties. For example, the first is uh, it's independent of choice of the local resolution. So because uh, at the beginning uh, to define this, uh, we need to make a choice of this local resolution. So the first property is uh, uh, for, for any choice of this local resolution, uh, what you obtain uh, is the same. So, so this is a, a well-defined notion. And also the second uh, very important property uh, is that if you have a creeping resolution, so it's creeping the uh, resolution. Uh, creeping means uh, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, no crimpancy, uh, all discrepancy are zero, uh, meaning the canonical boundary of this resolution is just a pull bank of the canonical boundary downstairs. And, uh, and uh, literally, uh, so, so this means you take this all AG, all this AG become to zero. So there's no this term, this term dis, uh, disappeared. And so you have only this term. So this term gives the uh, gives a the stringent uh, gives a stringent uh, e, 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 e functional of y 
is just the usual uh, E functional of this Y hat, this local resolution, this Kripner resolution. So in particular, in this case, uh, this means the strange E functional is a polynomial. It's not only a functional, but it's a polynomial. And also this, this can be used to, to detect uh, the long existence of Kripner resolutions. So, so this is the motivation in the classical setting. And then uh, later on, uh, there are two physicists, uh, Gukov and Witten. Uh, they proposed a Gorgi theory uh, approach to ramify the geometrical black language program. Uh, this is something I don't understand. Uh, but the, uh, my collaborator, uh, Yong Binzhuan, he is very, very strong in such a, such a, uh, such a sense. So, so in particular, he, he, he can understand uh, the approach and then, uh, then uh, he, he support, so suggest us to study uh, this uh, moduli of timely uh, ramified uh, Higgs bound. In particular, we need to uh, study uh, not only uh, moduli space of Higgs bound, but the uh, Higgs bound with some, with some insertion. So these are uh, the code insertion. Uh, and this alpha one, alpha k uh, are joint orbits uh, in, in the algebra. So the main question we're asking is how to formulate uh, a, a topological mirror symmetry uh, for this one. So, so we need to formulate for this and, uh, and it's an like glance dual, uh, this one. And then uh, this alpha one dual and alpha k dual. And so uh, instead of formulating this uh, this big picture, so we start uh, with with a uh, with a simple uh, simple simpler question. So so we just uh, need to uh, to take the 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 uh, the, uh, the curve just to one point. So to one point in this case, uh, so we need to formulate something uh, related to this independent orbit, uh, to adjoint orbits. And then uh, to, uh, for adjoint orbits, there's only one interesting case, is just type B and type C. Because for, for all types, uh, this G is uh, equal to this, it's like class two. So there's no, uh, nothing to formulate. So, so, so our question uh, becomes, uh, becomes try to, uh, try to uh, formulate uh, uh, mirror symmetry conjecture between uh, adjoint orbits uh, of, of sp to n and so uh, to n plus one. And uh, if you want to formulate something uh, between this one and this one, so we need to find some correspondence. Uh, if you take some some orbit here, uh, and then you, you you should find some orbit uh, in type b and vice versa. Uh, and then to do this one, so so we need to restrict to all need important orbits, because for semi-simple orbits, uh, we don't have such a correspondence. But the uniform need important orbits uh, is not always the case. So so let me uh, let me start with uh, with need important orbits and the Sprenger duality. So so before it's just an introduction or uh, motivation to our work. And so for nidipotent orbits, uh, it's just a uh, conjugacy classes of nidipotent matrices. So for example, in type A, a matrix is nidipotent if and only if uh, its nth power is zero, or equivalently, uh, it's conjugate uh, to some to some uh, standard uh, redon, redon blocks. Uh, each <coughs> each redon blocks uh, are of this type. So nidipotent means this, uh, this uh, diagonal are uh, just zeros. And in particular, uh, you say uh, these conjugate classes are in one-to-one -one correspondence uh, with partitions of this n. So it's partition just uh, d1 plus, d1 is bigger than d2 and so on, dl and the sum of this is just n. And in the same way, uh, you, you, can, you can describe all needle orbits uh, in, in type of C and also type of B. Uh, they are given by partitions, as you can imagine, uh, but, uh, but uh, there are some restrictions on partition. So for type C, is partition of 2n, uh, such that all the parts uh, appear with even multiplicity. For example, if you have three, then you must have three, two, 
or 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 or, uh, or three four and so on. So and then for 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 type B and then it's each even partition uh, should appear twice and uh, uh, with even multiplicity for example four four and so on. So in this way, so 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 there there is a computatorical partition, a computatorical parameterization of all need for orbits in type B and type C, and then we can we can get a hash diagram. A hash diagram means uh, it's just the, given by the by the orbit coil. So for example, SP six. So the first orbit or the biggest orbit need for orbit is is defined by this partition six. So this is the main orbit. And then downstairs you have the four two, and the four one two three three and so on. You have all, all these orbits. And then uh, SP six. Uh, this is a dual Nagrange dual to S S O seven. So this is Nagrange dual. Uh, and and on, on the right hand part, uh, S O seven. So you have orbit seven five uh, one square and so on. And you have these orbits. And this uh, this uh, this uh, eighteen uh, is the dimension of this orbit, so it's the same. Uh, but then uh, you 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 will say these orbits are not in one to one correspondence, uh, because for example on the right hand uh, left hand you have two orbits with the same dimension fourteen, but on the right hand you have only just one orbit with dimension fourteen, so there's a low uh, one to one correspondence. So 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 this does not does not give give uh, give a, a, a answer we want. Uh, instead, so we need to use something uh, more deeper uh, coming from uh, coming from a uh, Springer correspondence. So 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 what's a Springer correspondence? So so even for for any important object O, then its fundamental group a pi one uh, is always a feather sub. Feather group. So in our case, uh, it's mostly uh, in most cases it's just the uh, z mod two z uh, of power something. So in most cases it's like this. And then uh, you have this wide group, and then you have fixed some border subgroup, and then you have always have this Springer resolution uh, given by this uh, coordinate bundle of this uh, g mod b uh, coordinate bundle of the full flag variety. Uh, to this Newton cone, so Newton cone are uh, just uh, uh, all Newtonian elements uh, put in together. So it's a singular, uh, singular variety, and then this is Springer and also a Kripen resolution. And then uh, Springer uh, correspondence uh, gives a one-to-one -one correspondence uh, between the usual representation of, of the wide group. So this is the main object uh, in representation theory. So how to find all irreducible representation. And then, uh, then the, the ge geometric way uh, to each irreducible representation, we can associate it to some pair. Uh, one, uh, the first part of this pair is, is a independent orbit. And then the second part is just the irreducible representation of this pi one. Uh, pi one is, is just the fundamental group. So not every irreducible representation will appear. Uh, just the sum of this uh, will, will appear. So, so this is why we call admissible. Admissible means uh, there are some condition uh, to to uh, to be satisfied. And instead of this irreducible representation, we have some something uh, coming from representation theory called spatial representation. Uh, and then uh, Lustig show this spatial representation is uh, exactly correspond to some some need for orbits O and uh, and this second part of psi is just a trivial representation trivial uh, representation uh, so this is just one it's trivial representation and in this case uh, we call this O is called spatial need for orbits so uh, so from this uh, this spring correspondence we really single out. Uh, a class of spatial need point orbits, and this will be our main objects. Uh, and in our case, uh, for the Lagrange dual, so we have uh, for this G and the G dual, they have the same wide group. In fact, in your case, just type B and type C, so they have the same wide group. So, in particular, in particular uh, 
this uh, this uh, uh, reduced presentation are the same. So this gives you a, a spring duality. Duality means uh, means uh, for any special neutron orbit in G. So this corresponds to uh, some reducible uh, representation uh, of W, a uh, special special reducible representation of W, and also this is also special uh, reducible representation uh, of this uh, W uh, G2 because this time G2 and the time is the same. And then, uh, then by the spring, do, do, uh, spring uh, correspondence, this is just the set of special neutron orbits uh, in G2. So this gives you a uh, one-to-one -one correspondence uh, between uh, special neutron orbits in G and uh, special neutron orbits in G2. So this is called the spring duality. So this, this gives you really one-to-one -one correspondence. And once you have this, uh, so the, then uh, another interesting uh, factor uh, proved as part of this time is that spring duality is a dimension and order preserver. So in particular, they have the same dimension. So if you have O and O, S, then they have the same dimension. So if you want to formulate something of middle symmetry, then the two objects should have the same dimension. So this is a really nice, uh, uh, nice uh, support or evidence, and also all for for type B and type C. So we can we can give a combinatorical description uh, for special neutron orbits. For example, uh, in type type B, so we need to start something odd, and then uh, there are odd many odd parts, and then uh, for SP, then there are, there are even many uh, even parts. And so on. So, so for this, then we have really spring duality. Spring uh, duality. So for number six to seven and four, four two uh, to this orbit are uh, five one two two uh, five one two and so on. So and also there's a general uh, procedure to to the to to describe this this. Uh, uh, this correspondence. So you start with something uh, in type C, uh, so special in type C. And then uh, what you can do is you add one uh, add one to the first uh, or the largest part. And then uh, you do the B collapse. Because the, if you add, add one to this one, this, this partition uh, may not be, this partition may, may not be uh, of type B. So in general, uh, not of type B, not of type B. Uh, and then, so you need to do some B collapse. So B collapse means the maximal uh, partition dominated by this, uh, by this partition. Uh, and vice versa, so the, the, the inverse map is given by, given by this C collapse of this partition. So you just uh, uh, FL, and you just uh, put it by FL minus one. And so, so uh, and, and in the paper of Lustig, uh, in fact, he, he stated, uh, he studied uh, this special uh, neutron orbits, and then he said uh, they play a key role in interpretation theory. But the definition is totally ungeometric. They are often regarded as rather mysterious objects. So this is why we would like to, uh, to have more understanding of this uh, of this uh, geometry, uh, of the geometry uh, part for this special neutron orbits. And also, uh, Lustig uh, ha ha have some sense uh, for this, uh, for this, uh, this spring dual. And then uh, he defined something called a special piece. It's just a locally closed sub variety. So if you take O and then uh, this O1, O2, and, and so on. And then he, he, he take out all of this special one. And then uh, he consider all, only this, uh, this piece, only, only such a, such a non-special. So this is special. And, and other orbits are not special. And the tier, this is, this is a special game. And he just, uh, he just keep, keep track of this, uh, uh, this locally closed sub variety. And then he show 
uh, for this dark dance duo, uh, this special piece of this one, uh, they, they have the same uh, equivalent uh, cohomology, equivalent homology. And so, uh, so, so we cannot try to make our guess. Uh, so, so uh, to define uh, to define this uh, uh, this uh, uh, strange uh, e functional, uh, we need to find uh, we need to require something uh, on this base variety y. Uh, require we need to uh, need to use uh, is uh, q Cartier uh, and also a uh, KLT singularity. So, so, so we need to check something. Uh, so, so for for our case, uh, this all uh, this is not closed. This need point orbit is not closed, but is stable under the sister action. And for this, uh, if you take the closure, then it's general. Uh, it's not normal in general. And then uh, normality has been solved by Kraft and Polchese, uh for classic types. And then we need to take the normalization. And then uh, we have uh, this uh, result of Perry shift and Hynik. Uh, they, sh they showed uh, that the, the normalization of the closure uh, has Goldstein sing rational singularity. And the Goldstein uh, means, uh, means just the K, K of this O. Uh, this is uh, Cartier. And the rational singularity, uh, this is stronger than, yeah, Goldstein rational singularity, this is stronger than KOT. This means the canonical singularity of index one. So in particular, uh, in this case, we can define this strange E functional. And so uh, what you can guess, it's a natural guess, uh, also it's a naive guess. So if you take any uh, any special, so, so if you take any 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 special orbit, and then it's, you have this background, uh, it's Springer dual. And then what you want to expect is that uh, this one and this one are a mutual, a mutual pair. No, uh, mutual pattern. Uh, in particular, uh, they have the same strange E functionals. So this is really a naive guess. And then, uh, then uh, it turns out the situation is not so simple. Uh, so in particular, uh, let me give you one example. Uh, for this example, uh, uh, this type C, and, and then uh, this is Springer dual. Uh, this orbit corresponds to this orbit, and both uh, of that of the same dimension with with normal closures, so the closure are normal. And for this, we want to compute uh, compute the stranger E functional uh, for the right hand part. This OB, this is quite easy to compute uh, because it has a Krippen resolution. So it's Krippen resolution given by this quaternion bundle of hyperquadrics. Uh, all the dimensional hyperquadric. And then if you have a correct resolution, so the stringent E functional uh, of downstairs is just the, the usual uh, E polynomial of upstairs. And this one uh, can be computed directly because it, it has a fabrication over this hyperquadric. So you get this, just uh, this, uh, this E polynomial of this hyperquadric. Uh, plus something, this is just the E polynomial of this C uh, to one minus one. So you get uh, the right hand part OB, uh, it has a, a stringent uh, E polynomials of this type. So, so in order to compare uh, this OC, so we need to compute this, the stringent E functional for this OC. Uh, for this OC, yeah, we can do explicit uh, computations. Uh, it turns out uh, uh, this this uh, this becomes something like this. Uh, of course, you, you say this is not uh, not a polynomial. So in particular, uh, these two are not the same. So the naive case uh, does not hold uh, in this case. Uh, so so how to how to uh, uh, how to remedy this? Uh, so in fact. Uh, uh, Bruninsky and Costa. Uh, in fact, they have, they have a very nice paper uh, uh, on shared orbits. And, and then in this paper, in fact, there's a, there's a, uh, there, there exists a double cover of this, this OC. This double cover is just given by uh, minimal orbits uh, in SL21. And for this minimal orbits, uh, it has a group resolution. 
uh, is just given by T star of P uh, or, or P uh, two and minus one. And then uh, you remark that uh, for for uh, or this uh, this is a quick resolution. So 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 the stringent uh, e polynomial of, of this O mean so can be computed uh, just using this uh, quick resolution, and it turns out to be just this one. And this one, uh, this one, you just recall uh, this e uh, e polynomial uh, two n minus one. Uh, this is just the e polynomial of this q two n minus one, because even dimension, uh, all the dimensional hyperquartics and the project space uh, have the same cohomology, you know, same uh, with the same Hodge filters. So, so they have the same, the same e functional e polynomial. And in particular, you get a, get something uh, like this uh, uh, stringent uh, e polynomial of this O mean bar is the same as stringent uh, e polynomial of this O b. And so this turns out uh, this tells us that a double cover of O c is mirror to O b. Uh, so O c is not is not self is not itself uh, mirror to O b, but a double cover of, of it uh, is mirror to. So, so this this gives us a, a hope uh, that this could be true uh, in a more general setting. So this is our expectation. Uh, expectation uh, is that for any uh, Springer dual or uh, dual special need for orbits, and then you can find uh, on one side you have you can find some uh, equivalent uh, uh, cover, and uh, and on the other hand you have you can find another uh, G-dual uh, equivalent uh, cover. Uh, such that, such that uh, th this, this cover X and also X2, uh, they have mirror pairs. Uh, in a sense that they have the same stringent E functionals. So, so, so the main, main point uh, to make this expectation uh, uh, work uh, is to try to uh, figure out, uh, figure out uh, which equivalent complete, equivalent uh, uh, cover we will take? So, so which one we will take? So, if we fix uh, some equivalent cover on the left hand side, uh, what? How to find a, a corresponding uh, cover on the right hand? So, this is the main main question. Uh, uh, are there any question? So dear colleagues, do we have something to ask? Yeah. If not, then let's continue. Okay. So 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 we we try to try to make this uh, this is more plausible. So so we need to 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 say some uh, yeah, to, to say some some examples or some evidence for this uh, expectation. So the first evidence uh, you try to show uh, for this uh, parabolic case, parabolic cover. So, uh, so, so for, for any parabolic subgroup, uh, uh, parabolic means the quotient is, is projective. And then you have this moment map uh, associated to this, uh, uh, to, to, to this G more P. So you find that you have this action of this G. Uh, acting on this uh, quantity bundle of G more P, and uh, this is Hamiltonian, and so you have this moment map. And then it's a classic result by Richardson, and the image is always uh, an important orbit closure. So this is only determined by this parabolic P, so uh, uh, denoted by OP bar. And this, this map, uh, this mu, uh, becomes genetically finite. So we are looking for some finite cover. So in particular, this will produce some finite cover. Uh, up to uh, by taking a stand factorization, and so so uh, such orbits uh, they are called the Richardson orbits. So this uh, uh, these orbits are imaging of this moment map of some quotient bound of of a flank variety. And uh, uh, there are some facts. Uh, for example, Richardson orbits are special because we are only working on special orbits. So uh, so this uh, this is a good. Uh, Good choice, and then Richardson orbits can have several different uh, polar polar polarizations, uh, meaning uh, you may have uh, kind of two different uh, 
a moment max uh, goes to the same goes to the same uh, same uniform orbit, and this P and Q are called uh, polarizations of this O. So, so if you fix one you shut off office, then you you can have several uh, different uh, polarization. And then I should uh, I should uh, uh, I should uh, some time ago in uh, two thousand three. Uh, then, then if you need to follow orbit, close your admit the crypto resolution, and then this orbit must be Richardson. And also, crypto resolution is given by a Springer resolution. Uh, but, uh, but this theorem is still open for coverage of need to orbits. And then, uh, associated to this, uh, this uh, fundamental group pi one, uh, Lustig, uh constructed. Uh, a quotient of this pi one. So this pi one is, is, is already very simple. Uh, in, in most cases, it's just z mod two z of some power. Uh, and then he, he, okay, he constructed something uh, from the reputation theoretic part, uh, viewpoint, constructed a quotient of this, this subgroup. Uh, in fact, this is always uh, z to z uh, of some power b prime. And also oh, it's important uh, for representation in serious uh, But uh, again, it's quite mysterious and ungeometric. And so what's the parabolic cover? Uh, parabolic cover, so you have this, uh, this is sprinkle, uh, sprinkle map. And then uh, this is genetically finite. And so you can take the stand factorization. Stand factorization, then you get something, this is by ratio. And then this is finite. So finite and also G equivalent. Because this, this, this is mu is G equivalent. So if you take a step relation, you get a certain uh, G equivalent. So th this XP uh, is called the parabolic cover of this OP. And, and why, why this XP is interesting? Uh, because this, this, uh, this map is, is equivalent. So you can compute XP. So in particular, this is show it. The stringent functional of XP is nothing else, but just the, the normal, uh, the usual uh, E polynomial of this uh, coordinate bound. So for this cover, uh, this uh, stringent uh, E functional is very simple. You can explicitly compute it. So, so this uh, also this gives a, uh, a reason why uh, for some covers, uh, it's more easier uh, to deal with uh, than the orbit itself. And then uh, our first main theorem uh, reads as follows. So, so you, you take any uh, Richardson orbit, and then you take the splitting go. So this is type C and it goes to type B. And the first uh, wall we show uh, the elusive kind of quotient. So this is K, K of this O. Uh, no, uh, quotient uh, like, uh, denoted by a a bar, so this is just a a bar o uh, is the same as a bar uh, o two. And also, uh, also if you take the uh, take, take the one polarization of this o, so so we are, um, we will assume this is Richardson. So Richardson, so you ha you have a polarization, so there is, there is this map. Uh, G more P. And then, uh, then you, you, you have also a Lacan's dual of this G P, and then you get this one. And the first claim is that this is also a Springer map uh, or moment map associated to this, uh, uh, this, this, this Springer dual of this object O. So, so this means the downstairs uh, is Springer dual, and upstairs uh, is Lacan's dual. And then, uh, then the, the, the central part, XP, uh, is, a, is a parabolic uh, cover of X, uh, XP dual. And our claim is, uh, in fact, that these two uh, parabolic cover are mirror, um, a mirror pair, mirror patterns. And, 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 and at this point, uh, we show uh, that the degree of this one, uh, times the degree of this one, is the same. Uh, the, the product of this two degree is just given by the order of this uh, loose degree canonical quotient, quotient group 
for this all and also for this dual because they are the same. So this is quite a, quite an interesting quite an interesting fact uh, because it's a kind of say so property. So if degree of mu is is high and then this this degree of this mu mu dual uh, must be low, and the product is a constant. And also the last part is just to say uh, this uh, this parabolic covers are mirror, so they have the same stringent uh, e functionals. So in particular, uh, this this uh, gives a nice uh, nice uh, result for 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 Richard's orbits. And I, and I just to give you one example. Uh, for example, for this uh, uh, this uh, isotopic Grassmannian and also also double Grassmannian. Uh, and then the both of them are uh, Lagrange dual, and then downstairs the uh, spring dual. And then, uh, yeah, there are some some complications uh, because we just consider in this case k is at most uh, 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 two and divided by three. And in this case, uh, you have this part. Uh, this is always bidirectional, and the downstairs is always normal. And then, but uh, but uh, but on this side, uh, this is not always uh, always bidirectional. It's uh, it could have it could have a degree two, degree either two or one. So depending on yeah, depending on k is even or k is odd. Uh, k is even or k is odd. Uh, so, so 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 if k is even, then then all uh, all all are bidirectional. So you just get a middle pair. Between this one and this one, yeah, so just the medium pattern. But if k is k is odd, uh, then then uh, you get a double cover, so you get just the one hand. So so, so you, you just get x. Uh, this is double cover with this one. So, so maybe maybe let me write it right here. Uh, so you have this x k. Uh, this is double cover of this old k bar, and then you have this dual. Uh, K bar, and then this is a x dual pair, and then our theorem say and say uh, say uh, this and this this is a mirror pair, mirror pair. So this is degree two, uh, this is degree two. But then uh, the question is uh, whether this part this is also a mirror pair. Uh, so this is a question. So in fact, it turns out this is not always uh, always be true. So in a sense that uh, uh, in a sense that the 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 visual uh, pair is not a symmetric. So if you change the order of these these two orbits, then it's no longer uh, to be a middle pair. Uh, so so uh, I should uh, when should I stop? Uh, it's one hour talk or it's one one. One hour and then. And Usually, uh, uh, this is up to the speaker. So the normal time is from one hour to one hour and a half. So this is up to you. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm going to slowly. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, uh, uh, I will see. <laughs> let's, let's see. So, 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 in order to record this, so, so we introduce something called a uh, foot, footprint. Uh, footprint, uh, meaning uh, you put uh, all these degrees together, uh, and then we find out uh, for this uh, this degrees uh, it, it range from uh, uh, two uh, two to the power beta, and uh, yeah, first of all, this product are the same. So so you see uh, you see the power the power you you have also alpha plus beta plus m. And uh, each term is like this, and then you have this continuous, uh, continuous uh, uh, exponent from beta to beta plus m, and then this is usually from alpha plus plus m, alpha plus m minus one, and then to alpha. So 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 this gives you just the footprint, and then the mark is in general alpha is not equal to beta, so this footprint is not symmetric, and then uh, and our theorem says. Uh, Inside this footprint, then you have this mirror symmetry. But outside the yeah, outside the uh, footprint, uh, uh, then later on we will show examples uh, that they are not this case. So if you go outside the footprint, then there's no mirror symmetry.
So this is the first uh, case. And then the second case or the general case uh, uh, is called the induced cover. Induced, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's different from parabolic case. Uh, because par parabolic case only works for Richard's orbits. Uh, but for general uh, special orbits, you, you always have this induced cover. So in this case, uh, we need to introduce uh, the generalized uh, Sprinkler map. So this is uh, something more general than Sprinkler map. Sprinkler map, uh, of course, Sprinkler map is just the artist uh, Jim OP uh, to some uh, OP bar. And the uh, artist Jim OP is, in fact, is just the uh, G cross P and this U. U is uh, just the uh, radical of this P. Mm. Uh, and then uh, the generalized uh, means we just uh, plug in something else, plug in here. Uh, this replaces U uh, uh, by adding a further uh, uniform orbit. But uh, this uniform orbit is smaller one, smaller one inside this navy part of this parabolic, parabolic uh, uh, algebra. And then Lustig and Spartist uh, showed this map uh, is again genetically finite. Uh, and the closure, uh, the, the, the image is a, is a, a uniform orbit closure. So in this case, O is called an induced orbit. So if T is zero, then this gives just a usual spring map. And, and this is called an uh, induced orbit. Uh, and, uh, and then there's another orbit called rigid, rigid orbit. Rigid orbit means uh, which are not induced. So you cannot find uh, uh, find the P and also OT such that its image uh, goes to this uh, this O. And so, so importantly, uh, in fact, all orbits uh, are, are classified in two cases, rigid orbits or induced orbits. Uh, so this is all uniform orbits uh, can be divided into two classes. And, and, and if you have an induced orbit, then you, you can, because this is a genetic finite. Uh, so you can, again, uh, take this time factorization, you get something finite. And then, then this is called the induced curve. So this give, give the finite, finite G equivalent map. And this is called the induced cover of this uh, uniform orbit O. And then uh, we're trying to uh, we, we try to extend uh, our study of Richard's orbit to this modular case. So the first statement is very similar as before, uh, which is uh, if you have a rigid and special uniform orbit, and then its spring dual is also rigid and special. And also the fundamental group uh, are the same as well as for this elastic kind of quotient. And also uh, the second statement is, is more generally not only for special or uh, rigid orbits, but for any special orbits. For any special orbits, uh, the, the elastic kind of quotient are the same. So, so the second. Uh, and then the third one uh, is also <laughs> similar as before, uh, meaning uh, if if one is a uh, uh, for any special long rigid orbit, then it's always induced uh, from something special rigid orbit. So 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 for for any any O, uh, if it's non rigid, then we can always take a, an induction uh, with this this O T is special and rigid. So so in particular, uh, you can always construct all special orbits from special rigid orbits. So the key point is to study special rigid orbits. And then once you have special rigid orbits, then you can induce uh, from, uh, by induction, get all special orbits. So special rigid orbits are the most interesting case in this case. And then, uh, then uh, the fourth point is that, uh, end, uh, again, as before, if you take a general spring map, and then on the dual side, so you get again uh, a, a, a generalized spring map. So upstairs you have the Nagnaz dual, and downstairs you have the spring dual. And then the, the, the main point is to show the center. So these two, two covers uh, are mirror. 
Uh, but this this something uh, we cannot show. At this point, we can only show that this 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 degree uh, this degree uh, 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 satisfies a similar CSO property as before. The degree of mu or time the degree of mu dual uh, is the same. Uh, the product of these two is the same as the order of loosely kind of quotient. So so this this is what we can we can show. So of course, uh, what is missing uh, is just a topological mirror symmetry, uh, which means uh, this this is this this is something we cannot show. So how 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 to how to how to do, how to proceed? So so again, uh, we try to uh, start with with something special called spatial and rigid orbit. So. So spatial and rigid orbits. So, so you have this uh, this O bar, and then uh, then you have this universal coverage because this is pi one pi one is equal to A bar. So you can take the universal coverage. Uh, you can take both the universal coverage. So what you can expect is this and this are mirror pair, or this and this are mirror pair. So 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 this is a this is a basic uh, basic. Uh, uh, basic example or, or basic uh, basic philosophy uh, we want to attack. Uh, so again, try to support this. Uh, so we start. We 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 did some some example. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so this is example. Oh, yeah. In fact, this example in Pan Shift's paper, uh, where he studied this spheric uh, spatial nilpotent orbits. Uh, in fact, he has a classification of this spheric uh, spatial nilpotent orbits. And in type C, uh, it turned out uh, this is one, and then type B is this one. And then uh, we sort of special uh, spheric should should be the simplest orbit to uh, to be checked. And so, 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 so we started with this one and this one. And, and then, uh, then the, the problem is, is how to find out the universal cover. So both kinds of uh, uh, the fundamental group are just the Z model to Z. So both kinds of has a double cover. And then how to, how to find this universal cover. And then uh, we are very lucky uh, for this OB. Because uh, Paul Levy, he found uh, he found uh, out this OB. It has a double cover. Uh, it's given by a uh, nilpotent orbit uh, in type D, given by this one. And then, uh, then uh, you recall we have this uh, OC, and then this this OC uh, universe cover. And then we want to check uh, if this uh, this middle pair uh, this is a double cover, and also this is middle pair. But now, uh, for this this one, we can explicitly compute. So so uh, so we need also explicitly uh, explicitly compute OC. Then we can compare these two. And for this, uh, we need to do some explicit uh, computation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, this could be uh, a little bit uh, more technical. Uh, for this OC, uh, yeah, for this uh, each need for the orbit. Uh, it has uh, it has a weighted uh, Dinkin diagram. So this weight such as zero, zero, and one, and it's a twice uh, node. And also, also this OD is quite similar. Uh, and like this OD is, is this one is a double cover of this OB. Of this OB, so, so we need to compute uh, this. So we need to compute this EST of this OC. And the, and the EST of this OD. OD is double cover of this one. So we need to check if these two are the same. Uh, and then it turned out uh, to compute this one, uh, we, can, we can really work out a, a log resolution for these two. Uh, to get a log resolution, we start with, uh, with a common resolution called uh, jacobson mohorov resolution. Uh, in fact, this is uh, this works for any nilpotent orbit. You can always find a uh, find the uh, SL two triplet, and then you get a, a Jacobson Mohorov resolution uh, like this. 
Uh, but in our in our case, uh, these two uh, have very nice uh, nice structure. Uh, this this NC uh, is is a symmetric product with C two R, and ND ND this one uh, is called is is the wedge product of this C two R, and from this we can construct uh, really uh, a log resolution by successive uh, blow ups along this stratum. So because this is a symmetric product, uh, so you can regard it as a symmetric matrix, and then you have this. Uh, Stratification and uh, going by ranks of matrices, and then you pull up from the lowest one from this zero, and then pull up to transform of Z1 and so on. And then you get a really a log resolution for this uh, for this one. And then you plug in this uh, uh, this this part, then you get a log resolution for OC bar. And similarly, uh, for OD, uh, you can do the same uh, similar thing, but uh, uh, just the, uh, here we have this anti symmetric matrix, and then you pull up uh, this stratum again, uh, parameterized by these uh, drugs. And then you get a local resolution. And then uh, you need to do really explicit computations. So, 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 so what, what, we, what we did uh, is for, for the case, first case R equal to one. In fact, it's in our in our in our naive uh, naive uh, uh, naive guess uh, in section two we, we already uh, encountered uh, this example. Uh, we show this OC uh, is not mirror to OD, so in this case, and uh, and both cases are rich as orbits. So it's uh, because because this is outside the footprint, so outside. Uh, the footprint. So it's not it's not a mirror. So this, this is natural. Um, and then for R equal to two, uh, then uh, this OC and OB are both rigid special. Uh, rigid special. Uh, and then uh, then for this case, then we really computed this one, this OC and the OD, this stuff cover. Uh, O O D we, we really have this uh, this uh, stranger e, e functional uh you goes like this, and for O D uh or for O C uh, and then we just compute this a x to one case we get something like this, uh this is not uh, equal to this one, so this means this uh, this O C uh O C uh and the top uh, the universal cover of O B uh is not mirror. So what remains uh, is only this part, uh, this OC. Uh, so, so let me do that again. Uh, this OC uh, hat uh, to OC bar, uh, and this OB hat uh, to OB bar. And, and what we have shown, and this is not a middle pair. So not a middle pair. So, so what we can only expect, uh, is this is a middle pair. So, so this is what the only remains, uh, or only possibility uh, that remains. Uh, so this is uh, this is uh, why we formulated the, the the conjecture as follows. Uh, so, so if we take OC uh, in type C and OB in type B, uh, both are rigid special and and spring dual. And in this case, uh, uh, the, the universe cover of this OC. And also the normalization of this OB uh, is a middle pair. So, so uh, 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 before, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, this this cannot be. So we only expect uh, this this is this is possible. So, and, and this is only for rigid special orbits. And then for general, we for for any special orbits. So the, the main conjecture is, is very similar as before. So, so again, uh, we have this uh, this induction from this one, then you get this one, and then uh, you get this one. Then what we expect is that this this becomes a middle pair. Uh, okay, this is uh, this is what we proposed, but still uh, we don't have uh, have uh, have much evidence for this. So, so this is what I I want to talk. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.
Okay, I hope for some discussion, but let me look uh, to the list of participants of our seminar. As far as I understand, the people here who have some experience with working uh, with nilpotent orbits are Alexander Alashvili and Dmitry Timashov. So, Alexander Grigorich, are you with us? Do you hear us? If not, then Dmitry, do you hear us? Yes, I do. Do you have some comments, questions about the talk? Well, uh, I wouldn't say I am uh, uh, much experienced in nilpotent orbits, uh, just a little bit, and even less in mirror symmetry. But I have uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe I missed something during the talk, but I have a, a short question about. Uh, how a sphericality is related to speciality. I just uh, wonder, uh, are all spherical nilpotent orbits special or uh, or not? Uh, because as you said, uh, uh, yeah. spherical nilpotent or spherical, uh, the spherical case is in a, sem in a sense uh, the simplest one. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wonder what is the relation between these two uh, properties? Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, spherical is more general. Uh, more general. Uh, no, not much. Uh, not I, much mean, I mean, among spherical, uh, most spherical are special. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, uh, in fact, a special a spherical, uh, which means the height, the height of the orbit, uh, height of this orbit is at most three. This follows uh, this from Panishev's classification, as far as I yes, remember. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for, for, for example, uh, this means uh, this adjoint uh, actually of this Z, e, e is just one element. Uh, this this is three, is must be zero. Right. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the partitions, so you, you can write out many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can really work out, a, give, give a full classification. Uh, but but of course uh, for special orbits, uh, yeah, there are many special orbits uh, to not satisfy this this condition. Well, as you said, all Richardson orbits are special, and of course, uh, Richardson yeah, yeah. Orbits, Richardson are orbits are much special. more general. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So 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 uh, among this uh, among this only only these are are special and ah, spherical. Okay, okay. Yeah. So so these two classes are not included uh, in each other. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's it's look like, like this, this, and this, and then we are working on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Th this is this case. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe I use this opportunity to ask another question. You started with uh, introducing uh, any reductive group and its Langlands dual, but uh, you work with nilpotent orbits, and I guess that only semi-simple groups are essential uh, for this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Wh why to consider general reductive groups? Because you also may consider uh, <laughs> non-nilpotent orbits or... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, in fact, we only consider this as, yeah, as one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just at the beginning, so we start always with something reductive. <laughs> But generally, uh, uh, so so the general uh, setting with uh, Higgs bundles is, uh, I mean, is uh, interesting not only for semi-simple but even for reductive groups, right? But in literature, yeah, many. I think uh, most people only study uh, this uh, this semi-simple, even simple one. Okay, but uh, for instance, if you take just tori, it is uh, is it an interesting concept for tori? Uh -huh. No, maybe this is not interesting. <laughs> uh, it's commutative. Yeah. Commutative, there's, there's yeah, not much to say. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Thank you. Mm. And now I realize that I missed the definition of rigidity. I'm very sorry, but can you recall what is a rigid orbit? Uh, rigid means uh, it's, it's not uh, induced. Uh, induced ah, means. It doesn't come mean, via this construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Construction is the image of this one. So rigid means it's not an image of this one. And when I have a concrete orbit, how to check, how to understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there, there are some combinatorical, uh, combinatorical ways to, to check this one. Uh, 
yeah, for, for example, uh, if you know the partition of this one, and also if you know the, the, the Levy type of, of this SP, and then there's a, there's a combinatorial way to, to give you the partition of this O. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember quite exactly, for example, if, if OT, uh, this is given by some partition, for example, two, three, one, or something like this. Maybe there's some power, and then this P it has some Levy part, uh, so it has some something like this. Uh, 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 for example, three, three, two, and so on. And then, uh, then what you can do? Uh, uh, let me say. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't remember exactly. So, so the, anyway, uh, is there some partition uh, using this number? You can construct a, a new partition. You can get a, a new partition, and this give you partition of this all. Uh -huh. So this is a way to produce all uh, important orbits uh, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Important orbits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this give you way to produce all uh, all uh, induced orbits, and uh, what are non reduced uh, or rigid? Uh, rigid. Uh, you can rigid means. Uh, Means uh, means uh, if you start with uh, partition, it has it has a four member. Meaning, if you the the next one is d, then you must have also d minus one, d minus two, and so on t one. So rigid means this one. Mm -hmm. So this is rigid orbit. Uh, rigid orbit means uh, means uh, you have you should have all. Uh, if you have the d, then d minus one or d minus two, and and all of this should appear in the partition. And, and of course, there should be some some exponents, some two, three, and so on, uh, according to the type. So some of these are even, some of these are must be odd, and so on. Okay, I see. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Dear colleagues, any more questions, comments? Hello, I have a very basic question. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lagrange dual is it uh, invertible? So is the dual of the dual the initial one or not? In Lagrange dual, I didn't get the question. The question is whether a Lagrange duality is an involutive map. Ah uh, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You take this to the GL, and then this again. You get, you yeah. You you come back. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And and in this regard, returning to the beginning of your question, may you show your initial slides? Maybe slide number one. Uh -huh, here it is. So when you have a symplectic and orthogonal group, they are dual to each other. But when you have special linear group, then this duality is just passage to a joint group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in general, it's, it's simply connected dual to this one. Then this duality is defined in terms of the root data. Uh, there are four yeah, yeah, lattices, yeah. Uh, the character lattices, uh, root lattices, and co-character and co-root lattices. And length mm -hmm. duality is just interchanging this uh, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. other way around, it reconstruct uh, simply connected from a joint type, if you apply. Uh -huh. okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is the only interesting case is this one, yeah. Uh -huh. And for us a group, uh, the type doesn't change, right? Yeah, 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 except that this type B and type C. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, comments? Alexander Grigorich, are you with us? Because I expected some comments from Professor Elashvili. Uh, excuse me, but I'm a little bit ill, and uh, it's very difficult for me to speak something um, for so. this reason. Excuse me, and uh, thank you for very interesting talk. Thank you. Yeah, I remember I used your paper. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's nice to see you here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I'm very proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. for disturbing you. 
Hmm. Okay, so if we have no more questions and comments. I have a, I have a technical question, uh, not to the speaker, but to the organizers. Uh, uh, so uh, I guess that the talk is recorded uh, and uh, the record will appear somewhere on the uh, site uh, of the seminar. Am I right? This is an important question to Bao Hua. So I would like to mm. ask that the speaker has nothing against that we will put it on the site. Yeah. Is okay. It okay, okay. Yeah. I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, then you will put uh, the top on our website of the, of the lab. Mm. Okay, then dear colleagues, let me mm. thank on behalf of us, uh, the speaker for very interesting and motivating talk such Hot topics okay. like mirror symmetries and nilpotent orbits. It was very nice to know what uh, present result on this. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all. Uh, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> so I'm really happy to see you.